our up and coming French rider was so dominant in the youth rankings last year and she's coming out with fine form for the 2024 season. A couple of bends to go for Sadrine Cabal. She sweeps right with 700 to go and then the road will bear left with 400 meters to go where she'll be able to see that finish line up ahead. She certainly will. So you oh, can hear the crash whistles the there. Corner, another there. crash on the corner inside the final kilometer here. We've got a few bits of oh, road furniture. One. And again, disruption in the group behind. We still have three riders clear that are going for that second place in this race. Olivia Barrel of Movistar leads this group. We've got the UAE development team as well but it is Cedrine Kabul who is coming solo into the finish inside the final few meters she has battled for ever such a long time in a group of three for ever so long now going solo following that crash approaching 200 meters to go now such strong chasing behind touch and go for ever so long but she comes in solo towards this finish chance to look over her shoulder there just check is she completely clear has she got time to celebrate and there we see that smile she knows she's done it plenty of time to celebrate Sarah is at WNT taking the win here for Welta CV Feminaz goes to Cedrin Kabul sprint for the line that was just human powered health that took that and then we have the sprint there for fourth place over the line as well we'll wait for confirmation of our second and third place in that race but what a finale we've had there danny it was touch and go for so long multiple crashes in that final 5k causing all sorts of disruption from behind there but were. despite that can't take anything away from cedrine Kabul, can we no, absolutely not. You know, she just showed what she could do on that climb. Unfortunately, we didn't see the Frontier climb, but she clearly had fantastic legs. She was in that group with Julie Bago and Caroline Anderson. All three of them worked incredibly hard. It was a real shame that Caroline Anderson crashed on that corner, but Sadreen Cabal did the right thing. She battled on, she put her head down. She's got that time trial power and she held off that chase group behind. And it was absolute carnage, wasn't it? There were multiple crashes on some of those corners corners as we came closer, which did just disrupt that chase.